Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. And there we got it. So yesterday on Observer Radio, Dave was asking what the update was on Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus had, um, he collapsed in his house. I'm trying to remember all the details. He collapsed in his house a couple of Fridays ago. And I think it was collapsed lungs. Ended up in the hospital. Was on oxygen. I mean, he was in, he was in really rough shape. And then I think it was last weekend, the last word I got was that he was doing a lot better and they were hopeful that he was going to be in the gym this past Monday. I think it was this past Monday. But anyway, that was the latest that I got. And so I assumed yesterday that he was probably back in the gym again. And as it turns out, he is not back in the gym and he will not be back in the gym for a while. And he's not going to be back wrestling probably for a while. And it's hopefully he will be back wrestling in a while. So apparently uh, there were complications. And I guess he got maybe a flu or something like that. And uh, I guess he also, he had he had some issue. And I guess they don't know what it is. But maybe he had sleep apnea or something like that. So... His immune system, I guess, was uh, compromised. So he ends up getting this flu and bad oxygen uptake as a result of whatever else turned into pneumonia. And apparently he is in he is at high risk for a relapse is what I was told. And the big concern is that after all of this, you know, they they they've been running test after test after test. And apparently there may be permanent damage. They found calcification in a heart valve, and his body is not producing iron, and so he's got like a whole bunch of tests that he apparently has to take, and I mean, it's it's bad. So it's bad enough that he still, I guess, has to, you know, he's out of the hospital apparently, but he still has to do oxygen because just like things at home, it's hard to breathe, and he's got to go to specialists, and like it's it's a potential... I mean, I don't want to say it's a career-ending issue, but, like, it could be a career-ending issue. So all the best to Luchasaurus. It's one of those things, you know? You got to be careful because it happens, you know? Pro wrestler, great shape, you know, was doing well, and then, boom, just... uh, Sounds like it could be life-changing, you know, depending on what the scarring is with his lungs and how much he's able to build them back up. I mean... I mean, think about the fact that, again, I don't know what the guy does in his personal life, but, you know, he was healthy enough and had enough wind to wrestle professional wrestling matches, and he got to the point where probably happened relatively quickly, too. You know, the symptoms were probably there for a while, but then to be stricken down where you are, your lungs aren't functioning and to the point where now this is... There's complications. This is very scary. So, yeah, hopefully he's able to come back and, you know, forget about wrestling, but just be able to get back into a full, healthy, you know, man for his family. My God. So, yeah, all the best to uh, Luchasaurus, Kill Switch. Hopefully he uh, gets healthy. That's the main thing. I mean, something like this happens. Wrestling's wrestling, but you got to get healthy. And hopefully they figure out what's going on and get it worked on and, and he ends up healthy. So all the best to him. So then, uh, I don't know if this is a, it's just a bizarre story. There was reportedly an incident at the hotel where several NXT talent were staying on Tuesday night. It's a hell of a transition to this story. <laughs> well, I mean, ready. I just heard about it. A man was reportedly ejected from the hotel twice for allegedly attempting to photograph NXT talent, specifically the feet of female performers as they walked through the building. Excuse us? Yeah, they're all stuck there in this hotel. <laughs> they can't leave. And, uh, and there's this guy taking pictures of everybody's feet. So he got tossed out twice. And uh, what next? I don't know. What do you follow that with? Taz is recovering from go. surgery. <laughs> That's actually good news. This poor guy. Let's move up the I mean, uh, leg to the knees here. Taz the... is, is uh, I think, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? He's got a birthday coming. Uh, everyone's birthday is right around this time. Well, Sean's birthday is tonight. 
Yeah. Uh, Vinny's birthday is tomorrow. Actually, I think, think Sean's birthday was yesterday. Vinny's well, birthday is tomorrow. This. Think about this. Tony Khan's birthday is tomorrow. In February, when it's cold and you're snowed in, what is there to do? And then uh, Taz, is, uh, he turns 57 on Friday. But, like, all I heard was he's 57. He walks around like he's 97. <laughs> and he's got airports he's got to go through and arenas he's got to go through. And, you know... Apparently, like his wife, and you know how Hook is. Actually, guys, if if I say that and you think you don't know how Hook is, you actually do. Because if you ever watch AEW, that is a great example. Hook and Moxley are the two examples where what you see is what you get. That's who these guys are. And Hook, being Hook, I guess was always telling his dad, like, just fix your knee, dude. So apparently he went in and fixed his knee and... Full knee replacement surgery, and uh, hopefully for his birthday, for his 57th birthday, I hope he will walk around like he's 57 and not 97. So all the best to Taz as well. And uh, Well, he won't be able to do that on his 57th birthday. Well, probably not on the actual birthday, but no. you know he'll, he'll get there. And then I don't have an update on Britt Baker, except uh, she was sick. Like, sick enough that they wouldn't let her get on the airplane. But I was told it was not something like, you know, she's on death's door or anything, but just like some flu or whatever and just sick as a dog. So anyway, best wishes to her as well. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.